Welcome back to another Weather XM update. We're here with Panos to talk about his recent blog post regarding the beta token rewards. Panos, thanks for coming on, man. Hi, Nick. Nice to be here. Nice to talk to you. Yeah, I'm excited. So a lot of folks are going to end up not reading the blog post for one reason or another. So we thought it'd be pretty good to go through on a video what it was that you said. Let's start off with some really big picture stuff. We get a lot of people talking about this being an airdrop, um, where actually this is a beta reward. So walk me through the difference between an airdrop and beta rewards. Well, the, the truth is that a lot of users in crypto are familiar with the idea of an airdrop. And we had used this term in the past at some point, but we realized that this is not correct because usually when, they, when projects mention an airdrop, they refer to some specific date where they really drop a bunch of tokens to the users, to the users' wallets. Yeah. And in our case, and it's usually a marketing uh, way of doing things to, to support marketing or to provide liquidity in the market. Uh, in our case, we have users that have been providing data sometimes for nearly two years on the network. And what we're doing is try to reward them for their help. And it's not just the data. They have been providing bug reports. They have been helping us debug things, test stations in various areas, in various setups with various Wi-Fi connectivity issues. Yeah, so they've been really this helpful. is a way to, to reward them. And uh, so we, we decided that it should be more precise to say that these are beta rewards. Okay, cool. That helps clear that up. Okay, so I think one of the big questions we get now is we went from the kind of initial beta piece to this test piece that we're on now. And a lot of people saw, hey, I had, you know, whatever, 70,000 of the betas and now I've got 200 of the new ones. Uh, if I, like, did I lose all my tokens or all my tokens gone? Walk me through that one. <laughs> uh, no, we, you have to realize that both of these tokens, the old test tokens and the new test tokens have no value. Okay, so we, you can say that we switched one kind of monopoly money for another kind of monopoly money. It has no value. The, the, way, the reason they are there is so that we can test our backend. Users can test the, the mobile app if they can claim them, if they see them. Uh, we see what changes in the rewards and users also see and report what changes in the rewards when we change something in the backend. So yeah. this is why it's there. The number could be 10, could be 10 million, could be 10,000. Uh, There's no actual value in this number. Um, the, the real number of rewards will be calculated, of beta rewards will be calculated the day before the token launch. Cool. And we just have to have some kind of thing in there so the testing is just something, it's not the real thing. Yes, I mean, even just to, to test the screens in the mobile app to see how yep. do they look when you get yep. the rewards, how are the graphs, how, I mean, you have to have a number there that changes in a way that uh, emulates what will happen in, uh, after the main rewards. But uh, it's just a number with no real value. Right. Now, it, you did mention there the, the number can have a relation to the, the data your station is providing. So I think we've seen a lot of this, and it is a difficult and confusing thing to sort through. But if your weather station uh, stops earning tokens all of a sudden, what, what are the possible reasons for a weather station not earning tokens at this point in testnet? Yeah, so first of all, it could be a problem on our backend. Uh, which is expected. This is why we have the, the test period. We're testing, uh, yeah. But it, it, it could also indicate that your station has a problem. So uh, if your station was getting X number of rewards yesterday and the day before yesterday, and suddenly today doesn't report any rewards, maybe there's a connectivity issue, maybe there's a technical issue with your station. So the first thing to do is check your station. And if it seems to be working fine, then report uh, the issue in Discord or in our support uh, system yeah. uh, because it's probably something on our backend and we should know it. This is why we have this test rewards. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great way to think of it is I think that the flow is something like 
you notice that your station isn't earning tokens. So the first thing to do is check the station. Just go and look at it or have someone look at it. You know, is the anemometer still spinning? Is the weather vane still moving? Is the temperature look about like, does it look, you know, does it kind of pass the sniff test? And then if it does look good, but you're still having problems, I think the next thing is get on Discord and see if other people are having the same thing. I know we've had a couple instances where a bunch of people get on at the same time. They're like, hey, my weather station stopped earning. And when you have 30 or 40 people on there or two or three, it's like, oh, that's probably a problem on the back end. You yeah. got to let them know about it, but it's not a really a problem for on the earning side. Yeah. Um, and the same goes to, I mean, if you regularly get 10 tokens per day and suddenly you see one token or 100 tokens, something changed. Yeah. You should go to Discord, check if others reported it. And if not, just say that, by the way, guys, Today, I, I see something strange, something unusual. Have a look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's a good good system. And it, yeah, I think that, that ends up working out pretty well. Okay. So let's talk about this whole beta station rewards and how people are going to get rewarded because there has been a bunch of confusion about this and a lot of questions. Is let's start at the super high level, like, what does it look like as far as how do you, how does someone get rewarded for having participated in this pro, in this project you know since the start? What does that look like? Okay, so we are in the difficult spot here now to try to explain a bunch of equations in a yeah. video. <laughs> so I'll try to to do the high level. the The core idea is that we have a number of tokens assigned for uh, reserved for beta rewards. This is three million tokens, and the idea is that we will count the valid station hours provided to the network, the total station hours. Let's say it's 50 million station hours provided to the network throughout the whole period. And if your station has provided 1% of these station hours, you will get, you will be assigned 1% of the 3 million tokens. Yep. Half percent from the st total station hours, half percent of the total uh, tokens. Uh, so this is the total number. So for example, a user may see that, okay, they are eligible to get, let's say, 300 or 3,000 tokens as beta rewards. Mm -hmm. uh, they will not get them immediately uh, as an airdrop. They will get them throughout a period of 300, 300, 365 days. Uh, so we divide this total number by 365. And each day, you get this number of tokens. Uh, so if it was 3,000 tokens, you will probably get something close to 10 tokens per day, divided by 365. And so if it's 10 tokens per day that you're allowed to to claim, uh, this number will be multiplied by your quality of data score on that day. So uh, if you are to get 10, if you're eligible to get up to 10 tokens per day from the beta rewards program, and your quality of data score on that day is 100%, you will get all of them. If your quality of data score is 90%, you will get nine of the 10 tokens, etc. Now, uh, as I said, if you have a station that works perfectly, has a quality of data score 100% for 365 days, you will be able to claim all your beta rewards in one year. Practically, this is not reasonable to expect to, to happen. We know that there will be problems, connectivity issues. Uh, there will be a day that your station will not have a perfect score. This is why the claiming period is 425 days, which is nearly two months, more than a year. Uh, so if on one day you can't claim uh, all of your, let's say, 10 tokens, and you can only claim nine or eight, there will be more days at the end of the period to claim the residuals. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think that's a, that's a good place to stop and just recap. So. If we're looking at this, there is a number of tokens, 3 million, that's set aside to reward beta owners. Whatever percentage of the total number of hours that were uh, that you contributed, 
you're going to get that percentage of tokens. So if you contributed 1% of total station hours, then you get 1% of those tokens. And let's pause there for a little sub point, which is that you're not getting rated on station days, which was what we were thinking we would do earlier. It's now in hours. And that's so that you, if you had something that was offline for an hour, you don't lose an entire day. Yes. So yep. uh, initially we, and in general, we are thinking in station days, but especially yep. during the beta period where there were periods that uh, we had some issues on the back end or yep. users uh, tried, they were, everything was early and users tried something. They had the problem for a couple of hours. Uh, if you had the, a, a problem for like six hours, yep. your quality of data would be so low that you wouldn't get any rewardable day for this yep. whole period. Even if you were so perfect we the rest of the day. Yeah. With uh, hours, which doesn't change anything as a percentage of, but it's better to, in order to capture these small problems. And it's a very relaxed uh, mechanism when it comes to assigning rewards to user, better rewards. I mean, we just check if you sent data for an hour and then it's an eligible hour. Uh, we don't do all these fancy checks that the quality of data score uh, mechanism has now, or the even fancier ones that will be in place in six months or in yep. 10 months. Yep. Uh, so it's easy to be assigned a, a good number of tokens, but in order to get them after the mainnet launch, you will have to do a really good job. Yep. And you will be judged by the <laughs> newest and fancier and best uh, algorithm on that yep. day that uh, you want to claim the rewards. And that, that makes sense. You're saying, basically saying, hey, if you were early, cool, we're basically giving you a pass as long as you gave something and you were here, you're contributing in some way, great, you're, you're on board. But you've had a lot of time to figure this out. You've had a lot of time to make sure that your station deployment is excellent. The documentation has been there for a while. Um, and going into mainnet, we are expecting a pretty darn high bar because this station data has to be something that the the customers at the end end of it can actually buy and rely on. And so that bar has to be pretty high. So we've all had two years to play around, do whatever. You know, if you wanted to try different things, great. That was the time to try them during that test phase. We're rapidly approaching the end of that where you better have all your ducks in a row and these weather stations better be excellent in order for you to to claim all of that um, work that you did. And I, I think to me that sounds pretty fair. Yeah, yeah, that's the idea. Okay. Cool. I think that hits um, all of the stuff that we talked about for various um, beta reward claiming. I think that makes the whole thing pretty clear. I think the last thing to make sure we hit is that let's say we get to the mainnet launch and you know day one, day two, whatever it is, your station goes down, a seagull flies into it or whatever, <laughs> um, and you, you know, it breaks or you've got to replace something. You still have that 60-day extra period to claim the tokens that you earned during beta. So you do have enough time to get your station back up and online. If you need to get a new station in there, you get the new station in there. And then you have the full, what is it, 425 days to earn 365 days worth of, of beta rewards. So it seems pretty darn fair to me. Yeah, that's the idea. Okay, cool. Um, and the... I have to say something because I, was, I participated in some discussions in Discord. Mm -hmm. uh, we really want to distribute these tokens to the people that contributed in the beta phase. Yeah. So if after a year, after the mainnet launch, uh, something has happened or we realize that there are a lot of tokens left uh, because, I don't know, there was whatever a general reason, yeah. problem or whatever. Uh, I, personally, I would suggest that we should extend this period. I mean, okay, this is something to discuss then, but we really want to distribute these tokens. So yep. the idea is not to make everyone's life harder or not to give the tokens to them. Uh, the idea is to uh, incentivize the, the people that are, are already uh, mm -hmm. experts and know how yep. to operate their, sta their stations to do a good job. Yep. 
love it. And all my dealings with WeatherXM, it's always been like, hey, what's the fair way to do this? If we're wrong, we're going to fix it. Uh, if we're right, we're holding the line. But it's always a very sensible, very practical approach. So that, that lines up with uh, my experience with you guys so far. So that's good. Let's see. Let's finish off with, I've seen a ton of questions in Discord where people test something and it doesn't work. Um, so what should, what should people expect if they test the claiming process now? How do you, how do you think they'll, what should they expect? Yeah. It should work. They should okay. be able to claim the test tokens. Uh, if it fails, we want to hear about it. Uh, there are so many combinations of different wallets and uh, changes we do in the backend and different setups. And so if you find a case that something doesn't work, or maybe it doesn't work because we haven't explained one step clearly enough, we would like to know. So yep. the best way to do it, to report it is either go to Discord and search if others have had the same problem yep. or ask if someone can help you or yep. go to support weatherxm.com and report the, the issue. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Same procedures last time. Check yeah. on Discord, use the search button. There's a bunch of really helpful people on there. Um, I know Web Fanatic and Brutus and Rev and Operating Canon, uh, DRT. Like there's a ton of folks on there who have been helping out a ton. So appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks to all those guys. And I'm sure I'm forgetting. I got to write down a list of all the people who I come in, at, you know, when I wake up and I check the Discord, it's like, man, there's what, 10 or 15 people who are just on it and helping out. And that is super appreciated. Okay. Let's wrap this up with the, the big question on everybody's, everybody's mind uh, is you go to the office a couple times a week. You're seeing what's going on there. Are you seeing any obstacles to um, a mainnet launch timeline? Is there anything when you walk in there, you're like, Oof, this isn't going to work? Or are you seeing like everything looks pretty good? looks like we're on track. Um, we should be able to hit the timeline that those guys set. It looks from my point of view that everything's on track. Cool. Uh, everything I do, I mean, my part of the, the jobs I have to do uh, in the company, the plan is that they have to be done by the end of the month because there is a token launch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like we're on track. Uh, it's not my, my place to, to sure. commit to this. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's looking good. Okay. Yeah, and it's something that we all, oh, everyone in the company, everyone in the team is looking forward to this. This is something that we've been working for two years. The sooner, the better. I mean, yeah, we will start working with the real project. I mean, it's a real milestone for everyone. It'd be super cool. Well, good to hear that there's nothing that you're seeing that's uh, that's wrong. Looks like everything's on track. Super psyched that you made the time to come on and help explain the blog post on the beta rewards. Thomas, thanks so much for making the time. Thank you very much, Nick. Thank you very much.